I don't know if you've heard, but Reince Priebus is out of the White House. Next, our six comedians are gonna help out his resume. Plus, tiger selfies might be banned from Tinder. I mean, what am I gonna do now? Tonight on Punchline, two teams of comedians use today's headlines to come up with the best punchlines. Playing for the women's team, Kira Soltanovich, Daphne Springs, and Jenny Zagrino. Playing for the men's team, Trey Elliott, Eddie Pence, and Ryan Stout. And now, Punchline, here's your host, Mark Istook. is especially loud tonight. They must think they're getting paid, huh? Welcome to Punchline, everybody. I am especially excited about tonight because it's a big news day, which means it's a big funny day. And our two teams of comics are ready to go, making jokes out of today's headlines. And our studio audience is here, ready to laugh and to vote as well on who they think is the funniest. And by the way, you folks at home can get in on that action, too. If you're watching live in Atlanta or Minneapolis, visit playpunchline.com where you can weigh in on your favorites. If you're watching any place else, just go to the website too because uh, the more uh, we get visits to the website, the more of those AOL discs they send us. So, uh, <laughs> you're gonna wanna vote tonight because those. we have had some really close contests this week, so every vote counts. And uh, we have a special episode for you tonight. It's a little men versus the women, the battle of the sexes. And there are our men, there are our ladies. They are battling for the coveted Punch Bowl. Thank you. By the way, Curly, that uh, Punch Bowl is in the hands of the ladies who won yeah. last night. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, fun fact, Daphne has logged the most victories so far of any of our punchline oh. guys. <laughs> and also, Gina Zagrino, what are you, 3-0 and undefeated? Yeah. All right, well, tonight let's change that, man. Let's yeah. break the glass ceiling, shall I, we? That's what we got to do. I've lost seven times, Mark. Seven times? Seven times. Eight times you get a toaster. Great. Oh. Tonight we're getting a toaster. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's, uh, let's play a little punchline, shall we? In this yeah. round, our punchlines are worth 50 points. Here we go. Playing a little fast and slogan. Two San Diego students have done an incredible service for this country. They're giving us glowing beer. Yes, it's very creatively titled glow beer, and it all started with one very simple idea. Wouldn't it be cool if our beer glowed in the dark? Yeah. Comedians, please help the guys out and come up with a slogan for glow beer. Go. Ryan. Glow beer. Impossible to sneak into the movies. <laughs> Jenny. Uh, glow beer. Don't, don't worry, it's safe. It's, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Eddie. Uh, glow beer. Bre brewed with pure Rocky Mountain Trixophonolate Oxalate number five. <laughs> <laughs> Trey. Glow beer, Cosby's new candlelight. Oh! Oh! Mm. Glow beer. No, seriously, it's totally fine. <laughs> Is that an arm coming out of your head? Kira. <laughs> when you want all the fun of Fukushima without the hassle of fins in your neck, glow beer is for you. Glow beer, the bling of beers. Yes. <laughs> Daphne. Glow beer, get wasted to lighten the mood. <laughs> All right, time's up. I just, I just want to know if it glows on the way out as well. Just, oh, just curious. Yes. All right, oh. comedians, time to vote the men or the women. Who was funniest? Come on, ladies. Oh! It's an early 60 to 0 lead as we move on. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but tiger selfies are a huge thing on Tinder. Guys like to take pictures of tigers for some reason. But PETA is trying to get those selfies banned on Tinder. So comedians, if single men can't use a tiger to try to woo women, wow. what can they use? Go. Sex Eddie. Panther Cologne, because 60% of the time it works every, every time. time. Yes, I love it. Jenny. By any means possible. <laughs> Trey. Negative test results, positive bank statements. <laughs> Daphne. They can use lies like they've been doing. <laughs> She's not bitter, not bitter. Jenny. Um, they could use their personalities. Just kidding. <laughs> They're Johnson. Uh, They're Johnson. <laughs> Ryan. I can tell you what doesn't work. Selfies from the set of Punchline. <laughs> this is true. Kira. <laughs> Picture with Tiger. I mean, he hasn't won like a championship in four years. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie. Honesty. <laughs> Honesty. No. Honesty. Oh. Time's up, guys. The ladies or the men. Who gets your vote? 
Or that tiger, you can vote for the tiger. Oh! Moving on, uh, this is a true story. Denmark is hosting the 60th World Santa Claus Congress this summer. And on the agenda, yeah. picking the official <laughs> Christmas tree color, I thought it was green, uh, and a fashion runway show. So comedians, what else is on the Santa World Conference agenda? Go. Ryan. Strategies to dismantle Amazon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Daphne. All I know is gonna be a lot of ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Ellie. Healthcare. <laughs> Jenny. Um, ways to maintain their weight on the road. Oh, that's always important. Yes, Trey. Uh, reindeer emissions inspections. <laughs> Can't have bad reindeers on the road. Kira. Inhaler relay races. <laughs> Daphne. Determining elf wages. Mm, always important. Trey. Breaking and entering classes. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Elf auction and swimsuit competition. <laughs> Bring Eddie. your barbecue. Yes, yes. All right, time's up. Like yeah. Let's get to the votes. The men or the ladies or the Santas. Let's go. Woo! All right. It's 150. Time for our last headline of this round. Uh, in a series of tweets today, President Trump fired Chief of Staff Reince Priebus and replaced him with Secretary of Homeland Security, John F. Kelly. So comedians, let's help uh, poor Mr. Priebus out and come up with a new summary for his LinkedIn resume. Go! Jenny. Um, oh my God, I escaped! <laughs> Daphne. I recently worked at a circus so I can handle a hectic environment. <laughs> Ryan. My name is Reinhold, but I go by Reince, but there are other reasons to hate me. <laughs> Kira. Well, now he can go back to his home planet because Reince Priebus is from Florkin. Eddie. If eyes can change, and yous can change, we all can change. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> um, he's like the Jane Goodall of that orangutan. <laughs> Eddie. Uh, extremely flexible, can grab ankles uh, upon request. <laughs> Ryan. Soft lips for kissing any part of the body. <laughs> that might count. All right, audience, time to weigh in. Let's go. Poor Ryan, look at how sad he is. Yeah. The guys in the round of 150 to 50 lead. Coming up. When Punchline returns, Chris Christie is calling other people ignorant. Plus, the number one way to get out of a parking ticket. All that and more when we come back. It's Woo! I'm TV's Mark Istook, and you may know me from the news and other stuff. Well, we're bringing you the news everyone is talking about because we're joking about it. So like, follow, and subscribe to Punchline. On punchline, the men jumping out to an early lead, 150 to 50, yeah. leading these ladies as we head into our second round where punchlines are worth 100 points. Let's get right to it. Uh, three quarters of men over the age of 65 say they are happy with their looks. Now you can compare that to just over 50% of men in their teens and 20s who are happy with their looks. So comedians, why are old men so happy with their bodies? Go. <laughs> Uh, they, have, they have their own boobs now. <laughs> Never leave the house. Trey. Uh, because they are legally blind. <laughs> Jenny. Uh, because they realized their lush back hair feels just like a Tempur-Pedic mattress. <laughs> so disgusting. Uh, Jenny and oh, Brian. Oh. Uh, why are they so happy? I don't know, Mark, why don't you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> this will come back to you, Trey. You're a decade on us. Coming back. Because they don't have Instagram, so they don't know how many likes they really want to get. Kira. It might be three quarter of men, but they're really only worried about one of their quarters. <laughs> Eddie. Cataracts? Ryan. They're on a lot of good feel-good medication. Yes, a lot of good medication. All right, audience, are you on good medication? Let us know when you vote, men or women. Let's get Who is funniest? No. Oh. Yeah. No. 250 to 50.
nifty gentlemen. I mean, I thought this was the battle of the sexes. Oh, we'll blow it later. Oh, okay, yeah. well, we'll just see it what happens. Worse. Well, I think it's much worse. Moving on to our next one. Uh, rapper 2 Change just did what many people thought was impossible. He talked his way out of a parking ticket with the New York police. So I'm guessing he was not <laughs> quoting uh, Public Enemy or Ice-T when he had his exchange with him. Uh, comedians, what are your tips for getting out of a parking ticket? Go. <laughs> Ryan. I have a car alarm that's a child's voice that says, you can't touch me there. <laughs> me. I try to act as white as possible. That helps, that does help, yes, great. Uh, I just do the jail time. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny. Uh, Eddie's boobs. <laughs> oh. Here Here's my tip for getting out of a parking ticket. Just pay the meter. <laughs> uh, Eddie. Uh, test of strength. <laughs> Trey. Uh, they don't give out tickets when you take the bus. <laughs> right. Uh, you can just drop those in the box at the Illuminati meeting. That helps. Yes, that helps. <laughs> Jenny. Uh, tell him that the coffee stains on his uniform really bring out his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's never worked for me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, audience, men or women, who gets the vote? Oh! Jeez. to 50, we've got time for one more in this round. Uh, maybe you guys yeah. remember this story from last month. Governor Chris Christie in New Jersey shut down a beach there, and then he took his family to that <laughs> shut down beach. Now, he says that his family was hurt by all the backlash and the people who were upset about it are, quote, ignorant. Comedians, let's help out Chris Christie. Where should he, he and his family vacation next? Go, Ryan. Curves. <laughs> Dabnique. Hometown buffet. <laughs> it's too easy. Kara. They should vacation in hell. Oh, wait, they live in Jersey. They live in and Jersey. They New Jersey, right. <laughs> Trey. Uh, Gilligan's Island. A three-hour <laughs> tour. They would yeah, be there a while, yeah. Nobody find them. Daphne. Weight Watchers. <laughs> Jenny. Um, Cancun, and then we'll build the wall while they're away, so they can't <laughs> Take it back, <laughs> can't fly over it. Eddie. Yeah. I heard Dunkirk 77 years ago is very nice this time of year. Yeah. Hard to get home, yes. <laughs> Daphnique. Pizza Hut. <laughs> Eddie. Mar-a-Lago. Mm. Jenny. The Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Eddie. Guantanamo <Montano> Bay. <laughs> oh. Slide that right in into the buzzer. Mm. All right, audience, do the ladies have a chance here? Let's see the votes. Yay. Oh. So excited, they won one. Oh my God. Yeah. Battle of the Sexes continues when we come back in a minute. Right now, the uh, men are ahead, 350 to 150. But coming up, KFC has introduced a truly bizarre new product. Plus, which company is banning bachelorette parties and why? Punchline returns in a minute. Good, I mean, hey. If you liked what you just saw, be sure to follow Punchline. And if you didn't like it, you can go. Welcome back to Punchline, everybody. A millennia of gender battles. We are settling it tonight with the battle of the sexes. The men currently with a 350 to 150 right. lead, but yeah. it is still yeah. anybody's no, game. Every okay. vote counts tonight. You can go online at playpunchline.com. If you're watching live in Atlanta or Minneapolis, make your voice heard tonight. The ladies need a little help. All right, uh, Punchline's <laughs> in this round. It's true, what? 200 points okay, behind okay, you are. Okay, All right, relax. Get it. Okay, but, get it. Hey, Punchline's now are worth 100 points to us. 50. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is right up your alley because it's a joke about bachelorettes. Uh, a party bus company in Nashville has banned bachelorette parties. No more. Bachelor parties are still allowed, but the owners say that bachelorette parties are way too crazy and disrespectful and they don't score enough points on punchlines. So, oh. comedians, oh. why? You're going to ruin this for us, Mark. You're going to ruin it with ruin your it. lip. Ruin it. <laughs> why did they kick out the bachelorettes? Go. Trey. Uh, too many bathroom stops. <laughs> Because drunk women tell all your business. <laughs> Ryan. The drivers are so tired of explaining that there's no such place as Schlong Island. <laughs> <laughs> what? A bachelor party's not as crazy because it's more of a funeral for the guy, so they're solemn about it. Touche. There's no such place as the International House of Mancakes. <laughs> 
Uh, a bachelor party cleanup requires bleach. A bachelorette party cleanup requires therapy. Yeah. Yes. Trey. Because they always try to give the bus driver directions. Like... All right. Time's oh. up, everybody. <laughs> this could have gotten ugly. I'm glad we stopped it when we did. Men and women, who gets the vote? to 150 oh, as we move along to this one. KFC is introducing a Gamers Box 2.0, and with it you get some fried chicken, two video game controllers, and a smartphone hookup. So comedians, what should other food, uh, fast food restaurants introduce to excite nerds? Go, Eddie. Friends? <laughs> Ryan. Taco Bell's new feels just like a woman burrito. <laughs> Kira. Uh, Lord of the Wings. <laughs> uh, KFC's Girlfriend Crunch Supreme. <laughs> Daphne. McDonald's Get McLean Box. <laughs> Trey. How about a life? Get a life. <laughs> Jenny. Uh, Carl's Jr., your dad is going to love you no matter what your sexual orientation is. <laughs> Crispy chicken. <laughs> Ryan. Baskin Robin bully bars. Put these ice cold bars where the bully punched you. Oh, I like that. Eddie. By allowing your, your spell to damage up to 1d8 when you get to level 5. <laughs> it was uh, yeah. no, that was that's 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 Ladies, ladies we got two yeah, inside yeah, baseball. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, let's see the votes. Men and women. <laughs> yeah! 300 to 500, it is anybody's game. When we come back, these comedians are going to make punchlines for the best photos of the day as we play a little photo finish. Punchline will be back in a minute. The news everyone is talking about, we're joking about. Like, follow, and subscribe to Punchline. Here it is, the punch bowl. This is what our comics are battling for tonight. The men versus the women, the battle of the sexes. And right now, ladies, the guys lead you 500 Woo! to 300. But there is still plenty of time to vote if you're watching at home live in Atlanta or Minneapolis. Go to playpunchline.com. Your vote counts because this is a place where you guys can pick up a lot of points. Okay. Uh, this is our final round where you will grade our comics as they make punchlines based on the images we're about to show them on a scale of 0 to 100. That score translates to points. So ladies, you could make up those uh, 200 points pretty quickly here. This is a great opportunity to do so. As we put 90 seconds on the clock, usually we let ladies go first because we're chivalrous, but it's night. It's just because you're trailing by. You're losing. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Rub it in here. Stop. Mark, stop <laughs> screwing with this. Right. Screwing it. <laughs> Daphne, you are up first. I'm Let's right. put 90 seconds on the clock. You got this, here ladies. Here we go. Uh, the kid just wants to know where his 20 cents a day is. <laughs> <laughs> Audience. 85, Jenny. Uh, that's how Brad Pitt finds his kids. Oh. Audience. Mm. Oh. 82, Kira. Next picture. Oh, look, our floor matches too. <laughs> Let me see the votes. 79, Daphne. Next picture. Uh, when all white people look alike, because they, they do. They really kind of do, yeah. <laughs> Audience. 82, Jenny. Oh, uh, wow, Trump really did a number on those Boy Scouts. <laughs> Audience. 88, was... Kira. Next picture. Oh, it's St. Patrick's Day on the planet of Florkin. Reese is our leader. <laughs> Audience. 85, that big. Uh, the All Villains Matter March. They do, the All Villains do matter. Yes, let's see the votes. 83, okay. Jenny. Nice. Uh, Quidditch's sexiest wizard of 2017. <laughs> 80. Kira. Next. That's how I prepared for my honeymoon. <laughs> 86. Daphne. When you can't decide between two men. Audience. <laughs> 80. 90. Woo! That's how you actually get out of a parking ticket. <laughs> So congratulations to her. By the way, a whopping 1,235 points for the women yeah. in that round. Yeah. Guys, you're facing some stiff competition. That's not a Viagra joke. So, Ryan, you're up. 90 seconds are on the clock. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
Uh, what do you mean I can't be in the army? <laughs> Audience. <laughs> Boom. 78, great. Um, look, it's RuPaul. <laughs> Life is a drag. Audience. 61, Eddie. The sixth element. <laughs> Let me see the votes. 65, Ryan. Next. Uh, that's a big head. Um, that kid's mom died in childbirth. <laughs> Audience. 64, Trey. Uh, next. <laughs> oh, look, it's Tracy Morgan. <laughs> Audience. 62, Eddie. Next. Uh, bad news, that's ice. <laughs> Let me see the votes. Uh, 65, Ryan. That guy's not swimming, he's standing on his toenails and fingernails. <laughs> Audience. 72, Trey. This guy had like six Red Bulls. <laughs> he is flying, let me see the votes. 80, Eddie. Next. What happens when you get kicked out of your improv troupe? <laughs> Audience. 82, Ryan. Um, I guess we lost that war with the apes. <laughs> Audience. 76, Trey. He's walking to his weird Wizard of Oz audition. Ah, audience. 74, Eddie. Next. She looks perfect. <laughs> audience. <Hello. laughs> 75. Oh, All right, gentlemen. Oh, that was tough. Here it is. Oh, that was so oh, much good. Good. That was tough. I'm not an age-old battle, the battle of the sexes, the For men the or the time. women. <laughs> For the third time. Who's counting? In a row. The women tonight with a final score of 1,235, but setting a new punchline record. The men with 1,354. Oh! Punchline TV show on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. What is it? MySpace? Farmers only. Tinder?